Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Take a to check to see if your Windows 10 is activated and show you some other options related to it. We're going to see if you have a digital key or a product key. And there's not a big difference. A digital key means you purchased it or upgraded, and a product key means you have a brand new PC or you purchased a DVD or you're using a license, volume license key. Let's take a look. I also like to mention to you that Windows 10 actually doesn't need to be activated. You can't personalize it, but you can get Windows updates and use it just like everybody else, but you can't change you know, your background or anything like that. All right, so it's really, really easy to do. Let's do it right in Settings. We're going to click Start, Settings. Scroll on down to Update and Security, which really should be at the top if you ask me. And let's click on Activation. There you can see your addition. If you're activated, what type of license is activated? As you can see, I'm linked to my Microsoft account as well. You could change your product key while you're here, and you can get more information about activation, which should open up a page at Microsoft. And as you can see, it breaks down. Same thing we just did, digital license, product key. It's a little confusing only in the fact that it's digital license or product key to get your Windows key? Yeah, that's a tad bit confusing, I think. Maybe not. All right, let's play with the command prompt because there's a little command in there called SLMGR, and that's a ton of fun, and I'll show you why. We're going to open up PowerShell or the command prompt. You can do the Windows key plus S. You could type in command and then run as administrator, or my preference, Windows 10, Windows key plus X. Windows PowerShell, again, I always prefer to run as admin by default. Pretty basic stuff. This is what you need right here to see your activation status. So we'll copy and paste this, or feel free to just type in, it's easy, SLMGR, get used to that. Space forward slash XPR, and go ahead and press enter. And as you can see, it's permanently activated, so I never have to worry about it. Now, just for kicks while we're here, you can get more information by knowing these switches. A switch is what is after the forward slash. So once again, remember the SLMGR VBS. Copy. Actually, I don't think you need SL. I don't think you need VBS. Let me check. MGR. Let's go forward slash DLI. No, you don't need the VBS part. You can do it. And as you can see now, Windows Professional Edition, Retail Channel, partial product key and it's licensed and again you can continue with more detailed license information all sorts of stuff in there this is great if you've got a contact support you can press print screen or use a snipping tool and grab a screenshot if you needed it rearm count all sorts of stuff we'll talk about that in just a second and we'll get you out of here and your expiration date So once again, just copy and paste this code. You can leave the .vbs out, press enter. Now, I'm gonna let you out of here, but before you go, down here at the bottom, we discuss SLMGR. There's also an article down here, eight ways to activate Windows 10. Look for the little I somewhere up here, and you can click on that and then click again. It'll bring you to this page. You can follow these links. This is what I wanted to show you. SLMGR is a pretty powerful command. And the reason you wanna know about it is, you can actually go in here with PowerShell Here's the commands we just showed you. You can uninstall your current key. You can install a product key right here. We discussed, of course, if Windows 10 is activated or not. Well, guess what? You can activate it online and activate it offline. Pretty neat, right? As long as you know that SLMGR and these other commands, it's great. Extend your Windows license. So for example, if your license is going to expire, we discussed the rearm that I showed you earlier, where I had 1,001 rearm counts. That's if you, it basically resets the 30-day timers. So last I checked, Windows 10 doesn't support that anymore, simply because you don't technically need to activate, if that makes sense. And once again, some other stuff. I think you'll like it, so check it out if you're interested. Uh, it's one of those commands that pretty much every geek should be familiar with, S-L-M-G-R if you ever have to screw around with activation, et cetera, et cetera. There you have it, how to check if Windows 10 is activated. Easy enough, right? Bottom right corner, Major Geeks logo, click subscribe or don't. Click like, do something, click something. Thanks for watching as always. See ya.